Did you know that one of the underlying reasons why we quit watching a YouTube video halfway is caused by anxiety? If you want to know whether you have anxiety or not, watch this video. The fun part of being a Sigma female is the complexity that surrounds them. It's actually entertaining from a Sigma perspective to watch how people behave around them depending on the trait they present during their first impression. Sigma females are notorious to appear bitchy in their first impression especially in social settings. Being friends with the Sigma is fun and intimidating at the same time. At the beginning, it's always about you because your Sigma friend is at the background taking time out to study you. As time passes, you begin to feel intimidated because you have revealed all your tricks, strengths and weaknesses to the Sigma and there is no way you can fake it and you are now an open book in the eyes of the Sigma Goddess. The fun part of this is that, while you feel intimidated by the Sigma's wittiness, she is comfortable with the fact that she is getting somewhere by getting to know you better and does not see you any less than she did before. Here are the friendship hacks to attract Sigma females and other women that you click to watch in no particular order. 1. Except it is imperative. Don't show up at your friend's house unannounced. Most extroverts don't seem to have any worries when their friends show up at their homes unannounced or present them with sudden and unexpected social surprise. Sigmas, on the other hand, don't like to be surprised at all. Talk less of showing up unannounced. Even though they will receive you with a big smile, but beneath that smile is a need for time to mentally prepare themselves before seeing people. Their homes are treated as private spaces where they let their guard down and relax with no expectation of distractions. So, do not, I repeat, do not infringe on their secret spaces without getting permission from them in advance. 2. If you guys have a moment for two, don't invite other people. It's hurtful when Sigma females feel like they are just another warm body in your entourage. They want to mean something to you because you mean a lot to them. If you have to invite other people, at least give them a heads up. There is hardly anything worse for Sigmas than being ambushed by a raucous crowd when they are expecting a quiet, intimate chat. Due to their limited pupil energy, they don't just let anybody into their inner cycle and treasure the close friends they have stressed so much to make. 3. Hang out with friends one-on-one. -on -one. Sigma females, like other women, thrive in intimate settings because when they are talking to just one person, it drastically reduces their stimulation level. They only have to pay attention to the words, body language, and the tone of voice of one person. Because their minds are already quite busy with the standard internal stimulations that come with being an introvert, paying attention to one person is already too much. A one-on-one -on -one discussion makes it easy to talk about more meaningful topics than group talk which tends to revolve around safe topics like what did you do this weekend or how the new project is going. Sigmas want to drive deep, share big ideas and talk authentically about things that actually matter. 4. Be real with them. When Sigmas ask how your weekend was, what they actually want to hear from you is the meaningful and soul touching connections you had during the weekend. Don't just say it was a good weekend. Tell them about the existential crisis you had over the fact that you are getting older and your life isn't where you thought it would be. They prefer to know what's going on inside your mind rather than just seeing the finely polished, social media friendly look everyone sees. 5. Encourage them to share their thoughts in group chats. Many Sigmas have admitted that they often need encouragement to chime in surely when they are among a group of people they don't know too well. But a good number of them who eventually speak do so if only they think they have something of real value to add to the conversation. Honestly, sometimes it doesn't even occur to them to say what is running through their minds. Whenever you have the chance to, don't pry, but ask how comfortable they are to participate and whether they have something to say or what is it that they have noticed that is going on wrong and they like to correct and then go ahead to encourage them to do so. 6. Don't judge when they go quiet or get lost in their inner world. The Sigma female's inside world is so vivid and alive that they sometimes get trapped in it and forget that they had company. This makes them prone to daydreaming, ruminating, and needing extra time for word retrieval. If they drift off for a moment or need a few extra bits to think, don't slap them with a why are you so quiet or why you look tired and sleepy. 
This will only make them feel extremely self-conscious and unease. 7. Let them talk to. Sigma females like to talk to. They don't like to chime in when others are talking and when people do that to them. Because under normal circumstances, when the Sigma female is in charge, she always gives everybody an equal chance to air out their opinions. So, make sure your quiet friends get their chance too. 8. Get them to mentally prepare to hang out. Spontaneity can be fun, but its place is sometimes lacking in the lives of Sigma females. On a serious note, Sigmas need time to mentally prepare to come alive even if it's with a close friend. To always be on the safe side, endeavor to signal them at least a day in advance. 9. They might choose to leave social events just before the fun begins. They are probably going to go home ahead earlier than you. You have to be okay with that. The introvert's hangout is real, so don't expect them to stay at the party as long as you do, provided they even accept to go in the first place. 10. Don't expect frequent contact. Unlike your more extroverted friends, Sigma females are not going to text you every day or even every weekend. This doesn't mean they have forgotten about you. On the contrary, you are always floating on their quiet and busy minds when you guys are apart. But because they know you guys will see each other soon, they prefer to catch up in a way that's meaningful when you guys meet in person. 11. Call them if you need them urgently. It's no secret that Sigma's absolutely loot talking on the phone, but the only way to urgently get to them is by calling them. They might go for half a day without their phones or connecting to the internet, especially when they have a project at hand that is chopping a good chunk of their time. So, the best way to get to them is not by texting, even though they prefer texting, it's by calling them. The good thing with hacks is that they are malleable, and with common sense, you can deploy them in similar situations. Thanks for watching.